This is the seventh in our series of videos looking at how we completed a basic setup and configuration of a Synology Network Attached Storage Device, or as they're more commonly referred to, a NAS. In this video, we will be reviewing the advanced options within user and enabling a few password settings that we think will help to improve password security for our user accounts. As we will be continuing from where we left our previous video, you can see that we're still logged into the DSM desktop and are currently viewing the user panel. Let's select the Advanced tab. Within the Advanced panel, our options are divided into four separate elements. Password settings, password expiration, two-step verification, and user home. Let's start by taking a look at password settings. As with all security options relating to your home network, the settings that you choose to enable or disable on your NAS will always be a judgment's call. As we all have different requirements of our NAS, any security settings that we choose to enable or disable will have an impact on how easy the services on the NAS are to access. This has to be offset against how secure the data stored on the NAS will be. This is particularly important if you intend to make your NAS accessible via the internet. Because user accounts with weak passwords are an easy way for a hacker to gain access to the data on your NAS, we need to try and balance the password settings so that the network remains secure, but not so difficult that the NAS is inaccessible to our users. First, we have the options allow non-administrator users to reset forgotten passwords via email, and also force users to change password after the administrator resets the password. As you can probably guess, these settings are designed more for a NAS used in a business environment, as these options will help to reduce the number of calls an IT department would take from users who have forgotten their passwords. It is for this reason that we will be leaving these two settings disabled, as our NAS will be used in a home network. We also more than likely will only be dealing with between three and five user accounts, so we should be able to deal with any family members who forget their passwords. One method that we like to use when creating passwords is to reference an obscure word used in popular culture. For example, the aim is to offer an association that makes the password more easy to remember. For example, by referencing something from someone's favorite television show. However, so that the password is not too easy for other people to work out, we will be applying some password strength rules. The first option is to exclude name and description of user from password, which as it has been enabled by default, is something that we recommend you keep enabled. The next option is Include Mixed Case. This is where our passwords must use a combination of upper and lower case letters to improve password strength. As having a strong password is important if we intend to make our NAS accessible via the internet, we will be enabling this option. The option Include Numeric Characters will help to prevent a brute force password attack. This is where a hacker uses an automated tool to repeatedly try and guess a user's password. By adding numbers to our password, we increase the number of variables that the hacking tool has to use, making the password more difficult to guess. If we return to our method that we are using to help people remember their passwords, we can remove letters that look similar to numbers. For example, L's with ones, O's with zeros, and A's with fours. Include special characters, again will improve password strength, so we should enable this option. Good special characters to use include the at sign to replace the letter A, a dollar sign to replace the letter S, or our favourite character using an exclamation mark at the end of the password. The option exclude common password is a very good idea to enable, as it will prevent our users from using obvious passwords, for example, password, or 123456. 
you can see that minimal password length has been enabled by default and set to six characters. However, this is not really enough. Ideally, the minimal password length should be between eight and 10 characters as it makes getting a password infinitely more difficult. Finally, we have password history. This is how many times the same password can be reused. However, for this option, we've decided not to enable it, as we don't really expect to have to reset passwords that often, and for our home users, as we are already using complex passwords, forcing people to constantly remember different passwords could potentially become confusing. As we mentioned earlier, security is a judgment call, and the options we've enabled here are designed to simply offer you a point of reference for your own NAS. Let's take a look at password expiration. As the name suggests, this option can control if a user's password expires after a specific amount of time. This in turn forces a user to change their password on a regular basis. For anyone that has worked for a company that forces its users to regularly change their passwords, you probably know how inconvenient the whole process can be. In our home network, we want our users to use the NAS to its full potential. But by enabling this option, there is a danger that we put people off using the NAS because they can never remember what their password is. This in turn frustrates both you as the system administrator and also the person who keeps forgetting the password that they've had to change every couple of months. It is for this reason that we've decided not to enable this set of options. However, for anyone considering using this option for their NAS, let's take a look at the options that are available. Maximum password valid duration will set how long a password is valid for. Most businesses will set this option for anywhere between 30 and 90 days. The minimum password valid duration is the number of days before a user is disallowed to change their password. Prompt users to change password upon login before expiration is a method for ensuring that a user changes their password before the password expires and is a useful way to reduce help desk calls relating to password issues. Allow user to change password after expiration is fairly self-explanatory. While send expiration notification emails is another technique a help desk might use to reduce the number of calls relating to password resets. If we were to enable password expiration, before we enabled this function, we would have to decide which accounts would always have passwords that never expire. While we currently only have one active user account, if we were to enable this function, we would need to make sure that our administrator's account always had a valid password. Two-step verification is a method for improving user account security by adding a second validation process to confirm a user's identity. As we are currently only completing a basic setup and configuration of our NAS, we will leave this option disabled. The home user option relates specifically to creating personal areas on the NAS. It is an option that offers flexibility within the NAS by creating individual private network areas away from the public share folders on our network. This option we will leave disabled as the main purpose of our NAS will be to share data. Instead, as our users will be locally profiled on their own personal devices, any data that they wish to remain private will be stored locally on those devices. Having reviewed and adjusted any of the advanced settings that we wished to change, let's click apply. So to recap, we've taken a look at all of the settings that can be found in the advanced tab of user. We then enabled some of these settings, which will give us a basic level of password security for any accounts that we now create. In the next video in this series, we will finally take a look at creating new user accounts.